Shout out to the members of our scholarship selection committee. These are teachers and staff members who volunteer their time to review submissions and make recommendations for many of the awards that are being presented this evening. Uh, a special thank you to our co-chairs, Ms. Terry Henry and Ms. Jen Lesko, for all of their time and dedication to this process. I also want to acknowledge um, all the hours that our guidance staff have spent working with students, helping them navigate the application process and helping them figure out all the different ins and outs of being successful in getting awarded uh, some of these uh, scholarships that have been handed out this evening. Also, I would be remiss if I didn't give a special thank you to Ms. Karen Viola, Ms. Karen Daly, 
Ms. Kristen Houston. They put in a ton of effort collecting donations, connecting with sponsors, sending out invitations, printing certificates, and helping with all the other logistics to make a night like this possible. Uh, I also want to say thank you to the Shawshank Valley Technical School faculty and staff who have worked to support these students throughout their high school career and help to get them where they are this evening. I also want to send a shout out to the parents and guardians. Thank you for trusting us with your students. Your commitment and support were essential to helping them get to this stage of, of, this, of their lives. Please keep up the good work. They're going to need your help over the next few years as they transition from high school and stuff, whatever it is that's maximum. Um, I do want to say a thank you to the Tewsbury Wilmington House for allowing us to uh, host this event here this evening. Um, I want to thank Mr. Greg Bendel, who is live streaming this event. For any family and our friends that they could you know if we're unable to join us in person this evening. Um, in wrapping up, I do want to say um, we are going to hand out 152 scholarships to 76 different students for a total of $140,350 this evening. <laughs> At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce Ms. Jessica Cook, the principal of Shoshone Valley Technical School, who will be presenting with the first team of the board. Good evening, everyone. It's my honor to present the Brown University Book Award to a very deserving junior, Ms. Sarah Johansson. Sarah, if you want to come up. Oh. Sarah? Sarah is a junior in the Electronics and Engineering Technology Program, second in the class of 2024 with a 3.97 GPA. Sarah is a dedicated member of our school community, participating in athletics through varsity tennis, National Honor Society as an orientation leader with the math club with Skills USA, and even finds time to teach younger students school lessons outside of school. Please join me in congratulating Sarah, who will also lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of the United States, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice. Thank you, Sarah. We're going to begin our program this evening with our community and corporate sponsorships. And students, when you get called, come on up here. We're going to shake your hand, hand you your scholarship. Uh, family members, if at any point you want to come to the forum uh, and to be instructed, please feel free to do so. Um, and for some of the scholarships, we'll be calling up uh, the donors themselves to come and present. And some will be presenting. Students, don't be shy. Come here and get recognized. And so to jump right in, let's start off with the Anthony Capaldo DAB Chapter 74 Scholarship being awarded to Eli Holder. For the next scholarship, I'd like to invite up Ron Bell. The Bill Rickon Little League Arthur and Peg Skelton Memorial Scholarship goes to Maverick Gordo. Oh, I'd like to invite Ron Fusco to present scholarships from the Bill Rickon. The jobs I have, the pleasure of the job, you know, Dr. Jen, the regional office, the regional office, to also one. And this year we had a very, very, very qualified candidate. And the winner of the regular wide developed school of one seven scholarship, Kelly Brown. <laughs> I feel carried because she knows everything. Yeah. <laughs> 
you know that right. We had a brunch this year. We changed it to a brunch. Very recent, like a good time. And uh, please don't announce that she was a teacher of the year. I'm sure she was at for another second. Thank you, Sister. And one more thing to do today. Uh, I'm here to award the Mass Elks Association of State Allocated Scholarship. And that, I believe, is going to get Nicholas to the top. Thank you, man. Congratulations to the class of 23. Jeremiah, thank you for calling us. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, Philadelphia Police Department Union New England Benevolent Association Local Number Five Scholarship being awarded to Maverick Bordeaux. The Bill of the Youth Basketball Scholarship is being awarded to Carrie Brown. Felix Trinidad to present the next option. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Uh, it's good to see parents support their children in sports and in school, and it's great to see as you can see on both sides of the aisle. What I would like to present is the. And we have two young ladies, well deserving of a very special uh, award, and it's the, uh, the Rogers Junior Award. And I would like to have both of these young ladies please come up. Kevin Brown. <laughs> And I have Kelsey Giordano. I just wanted to see both of them stand up here because I want everybody to know what I already know. You guys were definitely great additions to UI when growing up. I think you guys all both play and make it this far. Pleasure. They, these ladies were able to not just be players to UI State, they also had a family that volunteered and then some volunteered. Raising up the younger players as well. So I thank you very much. I'd like to invite Debbie Keene to come up as we present Burlington Community Scholarship Foundation Scholarship. The Community College or Other Trade School Board goes to Isabella Jimenez. The Burlington Community Scholarship Foundation and Discretionary Scholarship is awarded to Ray Anna Bogart. The John J. and Helen I. Barron Memorial Scholarships awarded to Tristan Fowler. And Tristan, you can stay right there because you are also being awarded the Thomas E. and Jessica C. Tory Awards. <laughs> The Burlington Community Scholarship Foundation's Trade Equipment Award is going to Samus Billiard. <laughs> and as you can see, we're getting 
their trade tech school scholarship. <laughs> Like they might have fill it with wearing. <laughs> the Cabot Corporation Scholarship is being awarded to Anthony Bastianelli. <laughs> the next scholarship I'd like to invite up is Tom Gorman. Good evening. My name is Scott Rogan. I, uh, it's a pleasure to be here tonight to represent Cummins Fall, which is present the Cummins Foundation Merit Award. Along with the, uh, the award, I will receive uh, a, um, a book written by Bill Cummins, the founder of Cummins Fall, which is a biography that talks about his humble beginnings and his success and uh, what he's made of his success. Uh, just about uh, all the information to the kids that will catch the world. Um, so this um, is going to be a very strong The DCU scholarship is being awarded to 12 students. First, we have Aiden Swift. <laughs> Next, we have Brooke Haley. <laughs> Carly Melanson. Francesca Varallo. <laughs> Carrie Ann Calvoni. <laughs> Kylie Davis. <laughs> Lauren Frontain. <laughs> Michaela Molanson. <laughs> Michaela Vito. <laughs> Taylor Mills. And Leslie Coda. <laughs> I'd like to invite Robert Peterson to present the next scholarship. These are the Herbert W. Peterson uh, uh, scholarships. Uh, these scholarships were named in honor of parents. Uh, my mother passed away in 1997, and at that time we established a scholarship fund in her name. 
So my dad was a Roman from police officer back in 2011. And at that time, we added his name to the scholarship fund. Uh, as a family, we're proud to have awarded over $200,000 for scholarship. And then my parents' names are Aeneas. <laughs> First recipient is very special to me. Uh, her family, as, as is mine, is fourth generation of Wilmington. And it gives me great pleasure to present uh, the first Peterson Scholarship to Alyssa Cabot. <laughs> and the second Peterson Scholarship to another outstanding young lady, Kate Wilmington. <laughs> I'd like to invite Stephen Loesch to present the next scholarship. Good evening. My name is Stephen Loesch. I am a class of 2016 Joshi Tech graduate. And I'm here tonight as a representative of the IBW Local 103. Or otherwise known as the International Brotherhood of Electrical Workers, Local Union 103 Boston. I'm honored to be here and excited for Stephen Griffin and Derek McGuire. These two seniors show great potential for working hard in the classroom, mm -hmm. their shop classes, and on the job where they learn hands on training. Throughout their four years here at Shawshank, Stephen and Derek work to improve themselves, never settling for anything but their very best. Because of their work ethic, in classroom studies, both earning the right to direct entry into the IBW Local 103. What exactly did they earn? Well, this year, 2,600 candidates applied to Local 103. Every applicant takes an aptitude test administered by the state of Massachusetts. You must have a high score on the aptitude test to then be accepted into the interview process for the electrical program. First year costs with books and fees is $1,500. Local Wild Free supports schools across the state. We believe the top students in the electrical programs who show academic excellence, are willingness to learn, and are dependable and reliable when they're in co op, who try hard, have a positive attitude, and most importantly, a passion for the industry. These students should be recognized. So we grant them a scholarship for direct entry to the Greater Boston JETC. Or otherwise known as the Greater Boston Joint Apprentice and Training Committee, where they will continue to be successful and stay amongst the tops in their trade. It is my pleasure to award Stephen Griffin and Derek Wire the scholarships from the IBW. Thank you. Thank you. So, although we're not here this evening, we do want to recognize uh, Derek McGuire, who's given seven other recipients. Uh, for our next scholarship, we have another student who's not here this evening, but we'd still like to recognize her. Alexis Toro is being awarded the John W. Wayne Parent Advisory Council Scholarship. <laughs> I'd like to invite Sophie B. Eat. The Lowell Five Scholarship is being awarded to Sophie Brewer. The Middlesex Corporation Scholarship is being awarded to three students. The first is Hayden Lockhart. <laughs> Next, we have Jason Spencer. <laughs> and Joshua Bullock. <laughs> Next, 
The MVC American Association of Critical Care Nurses Scholarship being awarded to Kylie Bevis. I'd like to invite Paul Gardo. The Paul P. Gazzo Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Jacob Lady Farnham. <laughs> the Rosa A. Sadowski Memorial Scholarship is being awarded to Paige Lindsay. <laughs> I'd like to invite Stephen Elmore to present Sean C. Elmore of the World Congratulations, class 2023. I we have something in common. I graduated in 2023 myself. <laughs> Recently retired from the Burger Police Department at the 36th Street. They're going to rank a few times. All that being said, I'm still prepared tonight. We're moving after 34 years. I've given scholarship to my brother, John. John passed away in 1989. Um, kid, it's an aortic aneurysm showing that the uh, foot of the marketing syndrome. So you got in the age of 30, late late 30s, old. 30s. <laughs> All that being said, normally uh, as we transition to the next generation, my son's drawing has done a yeoman's job and stepping out and doing things. They call me tonight at 4 30. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm just getting it from work. Uh, it's probably one of the radio signs of the track. Great grandfather twice. So, uh, <laughs> that being said, we've been on 34 years now for this run. Family's given away $597,000 of scholarships. <laughs> and I think we mentioned Karen Grail. Karen's my wife's cousin. And we were here, all the record guys, we all grew up in the river, but my brother and my two sisters and I went to work on So we never really looked at the tag, and I ran into Karen and played with him. Karen says to me, Steve, there's a record kids. And so I said, Karen, you're right, and I don't want to have a look at me like that. <laughs> so tonight I'm going for uh, five $500 scholarships, and the first one's Jenna Parker. <laughs> Kelsey Giadani. Terry Brown. Patrick Burdo. Thank you. I'd like to invite Mr. Greg Bezalov to present on behalf of the Shawshin Old Men Thank you, Principal Cook, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's a real honor for me on behalf of our alumni president, Brock Sabasso, to present eight scholarships here this evening. On Thursday, you all will graduate uh, from Dusty, but you'll also become the newest members of our alumni association. 
on behalf of over 50 years of graduates, we want to congratulate you on one of them. And tonight, we will be presenting four scholarships in the Vocational Achievement Scholarship, uh, presented to students who have demonstrated commitment in their community as well as their academic achievement. The recipients uh, tonight of the Vocational Achievement Scholarships are Maverick Bordeaux, Jonathan Dalton, Henry Ken, and Sarah O'Donnell. We are also pleased to present three legacy scholarships, meaning that the graduates' parents also graduated from Josh Tech. Tonight, I'm pleased to present those scholarships to Leah Jackson, Joey Mancini, and Michaela Milan. <laughs> I'll ask Joey to remain up here for just a moment. A final scholarship, and one of the near and dear to my heart, uh, is the uh, Memory of Stephanie Mancini Scholarship, uh, which, if you don't know Stephanie, she was one of the founding members of the Alumni Association. She was a member of the executive board of the Alumni Association until her passing. She was a true cheerleader and a champion for Shaheen Tech, all its graduates. She also happened to be Joey's mom. So tonight, it is a great honor to present tonight's Stephanie Janosol's Mancini Memorial Scholarship to her son, Joey Mancini. <laughs> The Shoshin Teachers Association Armed Services Scholarship is awarded to Natalie Martin. The Shoshin Teachers Association Scholarship is being awarded to Nicholas Floro. <laughs> The Shoshin Teachers Association Scholarship is also being awarded to John Heller. The Shoshin Teachers Association Skills USA Scholarship is awarded to Jonathan Webb. The Shawshank Teachers Association Student Achievement Award is being awarded to Calvin LeMay. I'd like to invite Mr. Joe Gore to present the Shawshank Boys Basketball Scholarship. Good evening. On behalf of the Boys Basketball Program, I'm pleased to present two of our seniors with scholarships with gratitude for their hard work and dedication to our team during their high school tenures. Our first recipient, Aiden McLeod. Thanks. And our second recipient, Maverick Bordeaux. I'd like to invite Maureen here to present scholarships on behalf of the Grand Lawn and Lawn. It's really my pleasure to be here again. 
the past uh, five years, uh, we lost Lou um, two years and two months ago. And let me tell you, he's much more of a speaker than I am. But always believe in helping others. Uh, education was a big thing for him. He was my mentor for this. And I owe everything I know to Lou. And just to honor Lou's memory, I ask that you live like Lou. One day at a time, perform random acts of kindness, to leave, to leave everyone you meet with a smile, and always eat dessert. <laughs> My first scholarship will be to Carly Melanson. <laughs> And this is the name we heard before, but second scholar because we're Nicholas Gonzalez. Nicholas is also uh, the recipient, as Mr. Fusco uh, alluded to prior to another of scholarship. So worth worth a while to fill those um, applications in. Thank you very much. <laughs> The Dr. Harry Portman Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Carrie Ann Noble. <laughs> the Joe Gillis Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Michael Maselli. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the Town of Wilmington Scholarship is awarded to Caitlin McPherson. The Wilmington Rotary Scholarship is awarded to Paige Lipsky. The Wilmington Rotary Club Joyce A. Three Voice Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Caitlin Christensen. <laughs> and at this time, we're going to transition into our Dollars for Scholars Award. So I'd like to invite Brenda McDonald up to present those to our students. <laughs> I have not received the names, and I congratulate the students and the family. It's really a pleasure to be here tonight. I'd like to thank Terry Henry and Jeff Cook and everyone who arranged for this wonderful event. I'll be really impressed by how the tech celebrates this year. In addition to working with sponsors, the North and South Foundation of our year round to raise funds for graduating students of the We will sign to donate, to reunite, to have calendars, to have replicas. But I want to thank all of those who supported our work. This year, we're very pleased to have awarded over $157,000 in scholarships to the last two weeks. Tonight, along with our sponsors, we have 27 scholarships. But before I begin, I just want to really and thank 11 amazing, kind, hard working people. Someone who I want to be tonight, Patty Carino, Sonny Rosa, and Spinelli. And the rest of our members who are not here, oh no, but Sean, sorry, fucking Sean. Never hold the eye to me when I don't know how to do anything technical. Thank you, Sean. Also, Darling Tori, who couldn't be here today, Sharon Perry, Al Jones, Tracy Bijoy, Jimmy and Lee, and Larry Holman. They all worked really hard to raise money for the team. The first, oh, also want to let you know in your envelope, there are frequently asked questions. They are full to fill out to send to your phone book to turn to us. And also, please go to thank the sponsors and the appreciation of the long way. The first scholarship tonight is the Alan Conway Scholarship. The scholarship is sponsored by one board member Tim Conway. Who's being here tonight? The little bit of staff. The 
It's an honor for me to be here tonight. Um, actually, it's an honor for me to be out of my house. I've got a way to celebrate the freedom. I have, I have four children and three of them girls um, came for this group. And they were interning at the time. I guess it was called the health class back then. I don't know, what's it called now? Medical assisting and health assisting. <laughs> Already I'm going to tell you. And they went from this school into the rest of their life doing work. One for a half of the and the other one was that lady. And um, she's my health boss, just in case. <laughs> but I wanted to uh, just take a little time. I'd like all the students. Try to get a face of those people. And I'd like you to give them a round of applause for the students. Thanks. In case you didn't realize we have a standard ovation. <laughs> The first scholarship I have to hand out is from America's Auto Auction Scholarship and it goes to Daniel Penn. Next scholarship is a third foundation scholarship sponsored by us. Directed for funding that we do all year round, and this scholarship goes to the Running to Hope. I'd like to invite Tyra Villa to the Running to Hope. Thank you. Congratulations to all of you. You all worked very hard to get here, parents and students alike. As a former member of the Board of Parkers for Education, I am honored to award the Board of Parkers for Education 44 Memorial Scholarship to Daniel Penny. And as a current member of the Board of Rotary, I am honored to award the Rotary Rotary Michael Oliveri Fellowship to Sarah Obama. Now, at the next floor. Bill Rick is from the Middle East Laboratory for a scholarship and Anthony Cavallo for a scholarship. Most of the living of Bondi Bond. Dr. James Van Cajun, scholarship holder, goes to Maverick and Joe. Dave Lally, Memorial Scholarship, goes to Sarah Foster.
the Illinois Gale of Learning North Politics was that was selfish. I would like to invite the Holy Family up to see that they're there. Hi, my name is uh, Chris Pulliam. This is my brother David Pulliam. Um, we're giving out this scholarship uh, in my young brother Emmett's name. Um, he had children at both Bellarica Memorial High School and here at Shawshank. And um, <clears throat> he passed on from um, cancer back in 1999. Um, that year, actually the same month, November of 99, uh, his son, also Emmett, was a senior year at Shawshank. And he, um, that same month, he was elected captain of the basketball team. I came to a lot of his games, and it was just so noticeable how much this pool helped him get through those very, very difficult times. It was, you know, Shoshin being a, a vote tech prepares you for a lot of things. Um, just the community, the friendship of it all um, really uh, assisted him. So for the um, last 23 years, we've been giving out scholarships, one here, the one at Bill Record Memorial. Um, we raised our money at a golf tournament, and uh, the Bill Record Memorial is going to be wearing his uh, far as green colors, but we hope our um, Shawshank recipient will also be there on June 9th uh, when we have a big family celebration of life for my brother at Bell River Country Club. The um, winner this year of the Evan Coyle Memorial Scholarship is Sarah O'Donnell. <laughs> Um, I would just like to have one shout out to all these kids. Um, four years ago, um, I was in the Cello Tavern in um, Abington, Massachusetts, when the governors um, had a press conference announcing essentially that um, all, all the violence would be closing down and everything else. Kind of corresponded with these kids freshman year. Uh, our whole lives, including yours, has been turned upside down. Early this month, the UN and the World Health Organization announced that it's no longer a global emergency, which is very, very fortunate. Um, you guys, you went through a difficult time, and um, you never know what's around the corner, but Shashi's has, has certainly prepared you for it. But thank you to all, all of you for this good help. Here. Thank you, Brenda. Congratulations, class of 2023. 36 years ago, I sat with you, said. And Shoshin Tech, we prepare you for moving forward in life better than any other school. Um, I'm on the board of the select board, and I have my own machine shop. I graduated from the machine shop in 1987. So you can do whatever you want to do. And you have the opportunity and the chance to do it. So congratulations to all of you. And 
If we, I have a Ken Scholarship that's awarded from the Select Board in Norica. The Ken Scholarship was started by the Kent family back in the late 1800s. And we award scholarships just off the principle of that. And tonight, it's my honor to award the Kent Scholarship from the Board of Selectmen for Kaylee Fairheart. <laughs> Good evening. Um, my name is John Corbett. I'm actually an electrical graduate and I'm from Tech myself, so that's the all the very good. I'm up here presenting uh, a couple scholarships for my sister Kristen, who was a great ahead of me when I was at Shawshin. She was in a business program, uh, cheerleader, she was a hockey player. Uh, Definitely a mentor in my life, and uh, everyone was lucky to know her. Um, she was a leader, a mentor, and she lived passionately. Um, it's an honor to present two $1,000 scholarships to Emma Skelton and Jenna Parker. <laughs> No one can hear me, sorry. Thank you. So P.J. Kirithke um, was ultimately a graduate of Goreka High School, uh, but he did attend Shawshank Tech in his freshman and sophomore years. Uh, sadly, P.J. tragically passed away this past March, uh, shortly before graduating from Westfield State University. To honor P.J.'s memory, we are awarding scholarships to students who share similar interests and qualities with P.J. Many of those interests being in athletics, including hockey, golf, uh, frisbee, oh gosh. Uh, but more importantly, Peter was a kind, outgoing kid. I had a welcoming way about him with a genuine love of helping others. It is in this spirit we chose recipients of the two scholarships we will be awarding tonight. The first is going to Christina Zupalis. And the second is going to Kelsey Giordano. I'd like to invite um, Erica and Elizabeth to award their Patrick Foley Bulletin Award and Scholarship. My mother and I went to her desk. We worked with my brother Patrick, who was a graduate of 2008, Joshua Tech, on the football team. I 
I'd like to invite Mark Lombardo and Laurie Torbett to present the next award. Good evening, everybody. Um, my honor to be here tonight on behalf of the Patrick Corbett Mall Scholarship with Lauren Corbett, Patrick Swedow. Patrick was a dear friend of, of ours before, uh, before it was our, our marriage happened. We grew up with Patrick uh, uh, Block, also worked at high school. Uh, Patrick then joined the Marines, served our nation. Well, that he was selling chicken covered with salsa at Augustus with us. <laughs> some of you may have had them, uh, that is the answer, some of the best. Um, he came home and, and continued his service to uh, the town of Bullard as a, as a firefighter. Um, along his journey with Lauren, four beautiful children. Patrick left us uh, in November of 21, way too soon. And we miss him every day. But we're able to honor him from today and from uh, his mission and his uh, the charity that he lived in his life, giving to others and service to others. Uh, we hope that this continues with this scholarship. So we are honored actually not by one of you. Scholarship to present the Reverend John T. Laurel Scholarship to Benelli. First recipient is Kelsey Giada. Recipient is Dallas. So Sergeant William and May Bradley scholarship goes to Jonathan McGeffern. <laughs> I'm presenting the Tana Donovan scholarship. I am a friend of the family. I knew Shane's dad very well. He passed away a few years ago. He was a great friend to my family. He was a wonderful friend to my three daughters. So I'm really honored to be able to present this for his daughter tonight. Shane was born in 1993 and passed away in 2001. She was only seven years old. She was a second grade student at the Dutile Elementary School. She loved reading, camping, riding with her dad and playing soccer. Her favorite time of year was Halloween. It's quite tragic to lose someone so young that they've not yet fulfilled their dream or reached their full potential. And for that reason, she and his family decided to help give another young person an aid towards reaching their dreams. Tonight, she and her scholarship goes to Eric Winnifer. <laughs> Next scholarship is for the tax insurance scholarship sure. for those of you who pay the taxes. <laughs> for those of you who haven't, you have members of the police board. <laughs> tax insurance scholarship when you pay your taxes. The form has a little block in there. The scene is. 
and also from the Bill Rector Scholarship Company. People have donated for the scholarship and they've donated enough that we have a scholarship company. And that goes to Anthony Bastinelli. <laughs> I'd like to invite my brother to present our last scholarship. Good evening again. Um, it's my pleasure to be here to present the Eagle Post VLW Scholarship. The scholarship is for a child or a grandchild of a veteran, and I'm very pleased to present this to Gary Brown. <laughs> So we, uh, in this, I just wanted to say, is so if you understand how important Shawshank is, when I first moved to the one, I came from Medford, Massachusetts. That was a city. I moved into the town of Dover. My mother came out to visit us, which is 15 minutes away from me. Then you sat in the backyard, we were having a barbecue. She said, what's that smell? They didn't have sewage. So I told them it was the hot dog. <laughs> the work has come a long way. Gosh, we can I mean, when I came, when I, my kids came the first time, there really wasn't much of a leap because most of the kids went to the high school. Now, most of the kids are in jail. It's a way that's come from more. Smashing Tech has come a long way, and that was at that time because of a man named Charlie Lyons. Charlie, did you say that? A work of a father. To be proud that you went to church in I know your parents are proud, but more importantly, you all should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Thank you again, Brennan, everyone from the Silver Card Dollars for Scholars Program uh, for your support for our students every year. Now we're going to move into the memorial report. The Mary and Lawrence M. Arsenal Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Isabella Menace. I'd like to invite Mr. Robert Peterson to present the Kenneth L. Duffel Memorial Scholarships. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Buffman. Uh, Mr. Buffman was a member of the Shawshank Tech School Committee for uh, 52 years. Uh, he was a member of the original committee that designed the school. Uh, he was also a veteran's agent of the worker and a wonderful human being. I had the pleasure of serving with him on the school committee at Shawshank Tech for 25 years. It gives me great pleasure to present this year's Ken Buffman Memorial Scholarships to Anthony Bastinelli. <laughs> Yank Sarasa. Burns Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Karen and Helen. The Shane T. Cashman Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Stephen Griffin.
Thanks to invite Mr. Greg Bendel, and then the panel staff for the Royal Scholars. Thank you, Ms. Cook. Uh, it is my privilege uh, tonight to present the Plain Home Staff Clark and Royal Scholarship. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Clark was a strong advocate for vocational education and taught mathematics at Shaw Sheen from 1987 to 2011. And as Mr. Alliance can attest to, she's a dedicated teacher who worked tirelessly to help her students succeed in mathematics, both in the academic programs and the vocational shops. She had a warm smile, caring nature, great sense of humor, and a positive attitude. She was beloved by all her students. She was adored by all her colleagues. I was one of the lucky ones who got to vote. Unfortunately, Mrs. Slaughter passed away in September of 2011 after a long and courageous battle with cancer. Tonight, it's a privilege for me to present the award given in her honor to a student in recognition of his or her achievements in mathematics, in addition to distinguished performance in their shop. Tonight's recipient of the Pam Stamp Clock Memorial Scholarship is Howard Clark. The Victor J. DeFago Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Nicholas Pinzel. I'd like to invite Sean and Matt Donovan to present the Mark Donovan Memorial Scholarship. And if my last statement, I'd like to invite Mr. Greg Pendle to present the Mark Donovan Memorial Scholarship. Thank you, Mr. Um, this is a real honor for me to present uh, my good friend Mark Donovan Memorial Scholarship and almost everybody in this room. But in 1986, Coach Donovan began his coaching career at Josh Tech, where he would remain as the head wrestling coach for the next 35 years. During his time, Mark cemented himself in the history books of Massachusetts wrestling. He was able to amass over 500 wins, 23 league titles, coached 12 Division I champions, three of which went on to be New England champions. As a result of Mark's commitment and dedication to high school wrestling, he was inducted into both the Massachusetts Hall of Fame, the National Wrestling Hall of Fame, and every year Mark would tell his student athletes that they were the most important pillars in the program's history. These were the most important things to Mark family, school, and sports, in that order. The order of these three words were the most important things Mark lived by because of all. Above all else, Mark's greatest accomplishment was being a husband and a father and a brother to his family. Tonight, it's a great honor for me to present Mark Donovan's scholarship to Benjamin Bruce. <laughs> Also, uh, to present Eric Winston. Caitlin McPherson. Kylie McCann. Caleb Lang. Patrick Bordeaux. Paul Joe. Lastly, Ms. Sarona.
Well, thanks to those kind of and what I always end by saying programs. <laughs> I'd like to invite up Susan Robinson to present the James Gideon Sinkey Memorial Scholarships. This is being awarded to Stephen Griffin. Carolyn Faria to present the Bill Faria Memorial Scholarship. We have three recipients for this scholarship. First, we have Emma Skelton. <laughs> Next, we have Joseph Mancini. <laughs> and Robert Martin. <laughs> the Patricia Brady Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Memorial Scholarship is awarded to the Kathy Glavin Higgins Memorial Scholarship is also awarded to Alexis Toro, who is back here this evening. The third recipient for this scholarship is Eli Wilbur. Our next recipient for this scholarship is Emma Skelton. Next recipient, Carrie Brown. And our final recipient for the Kathy Glavin Higgins Memorial Scholarship is Sarah Simon. At this point, I would like to invite up Michael Hoare to present to the recipients of the Bernie Gore Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> uh, good evening, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and graduates of uh, Washington Tech Classes of 2023. My name is Michael Hoare, just four zero eleven. And it's my honor to present this year's Bernie Gore Memorial Scholarship. This is our eighth year of giving these awards out. And the students receiving these awards must have demonstrated a dedication to educational studies, shop, and athletics. Even in a like Father Bernie, we were sent to commitment to Charging Tech to serve the school for over 30 years, and a long standing Charging Tech school committee member. My father was always on the field, rooting on the kids, always yelling with all hands all the time. So some of the students who are receiving this award are going on to make further education while others continue in their trades. We provide you to all the graduates graduate students. Um, Thank you. So my son Christian was supposed to be here, but unfortunately he's not here. So I'm gonna ask the models to turn around and read the names because of my reading. Words were not come out right. <laughs> um, so I'd like the graduates to stay up here 
so that I could turn around and take the pictures for my mother, because my mother would kill me. Get up, Pastor. Joseph Woodward. Kelsey Giordano. Terry Brown. Maverick Cordova. Oh. Olivia Venezio. And Timothy I'd like to invite Lisa Marie Nibaldino to hold a video memorial scholarship. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, school administration and honor recipients, thank you for having us at the Shawshank Tech High School Scholarship Party. I'm Jamie Clark, and this is Lisa Ippolito, the members of the Michael T. Ippolito Memorial Foundation Board of Directors. Today we gather here to celebrate the remark remarkable legacy left behind by an extraordinary individual who passed away September 26, 2022. It is both a solemn and uplifting occasion as we remember Michael Dean Ippolito, cherishing his memory, while also embracing the opportunity to support and inspire those who continue his legacy. This scholarship is a testament to the power of love, resilience, and the lasting impact of the life moment. Today we honor the memory of Michael P. Ippolito, a remarkable person, father, husband, friend, and sports writer who touched the lives of so many during his time with us. Through this scholarship, we recognize his contributions and his unwavering commitment to education, growth, and the betterment of others. Michael believed in the value of integrity in sports and life. He lived his life with an open heart and compassion for others. He knew that building people up was the key to unlocking potential, empowering individuals to pursue their dreams, make a difference, and create a better future for themselves and those around. To the, recip to the recipients of this scholarship, you are the living embodiment, embodiment of integrity, hope, and promise. You have demonstrated, dem demonstrated exceptional dedication, perseverance, and commitment to the personal and academic world. You have shown that even in the face of adversity, you possess the strength and resilience to rise above and pursue your dreams. You can honor my glory and Leo's legacy by making a profound impact on the world around you. The first recipient not only was an active on the girls, was active on the girls' soccer team, but as class president, orientation leader, anti bullying club president, and belonged to the National Honor Society. This person was chosen particularly for her integrity in sports essay, in which she stated, Michael Ippolito made a difference in my life as a female athlete. I appreciate him always including the construction girls' sports teams in his articles. The articles written by Michael mean more, Mike Lippolito mean more to me than we would, he could ever know. I'm fairly not every girls' sport team is given the credit they deserve. Mike Lippolito ensured that Shoshone girls got the credit and that that is treasured and highly valued to me. As a young female athlete, his articles made me feel important, credited, and empowered. The first 2023 Michael P. Lippolito recipient is Carrie Brown. <laughs> The next recipient 
participate in the boys' soccer and track programs at the Tech. You receive the Skills USA District Gold Medal and will be attending Central Connecticut University in the fall. In his essay, he stated, Demonstrating integrity in athletics means honoring the spirit of the game and upholding the values of fair play, honesty, and ethical behavior. I have also learned that winning at any cost is not worth sacrificing my values or integrity. With this, with that, the next recipient of the Michael P. Nibelio Scholarship is Simon Dunn. <laughs> Uh, in, in closing, uh, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude to all those who have contributed to the establishment of the scholarship, particularly the Michael P. Hippolito Memorial Foundation Board of Directors, Lisa Hippolito, Joe Gore, Jim Sullivan, Joel McNull, Doug Hastings, and myself. Your compassion, generosity, and support to Lisa, her boys, Michael and Adam, during this difficult time. Sorry. As with the world to all of us. Together we have created a legacy that will continue to uplift and inspire all of us. The Mary Lawler Roach Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Caitlin April. <laughs> I'd like to invite Mr. Greg Mendel to present the Bob and Brian E. Sullivan Memorial Scholarship. Thank you, Principal Cook. Uh, tonight, the Bob and Brian Sullivan Memorial Scholarship is presented. Uh, on behalf of Bob and Brian Sullivan, who are brothers and also best friends, who both graduated from Shashin Tech's HVAC program. Bob graduated in 1981. After working as a technician for 10 years, his friend and he made the bold decision to start their own company, Green and Sullivan, 1992. Bob loved the outdoors, boating, snowmobiling, and skiing. He was a kind man with a generous heart. He had a contagious smile and was always willing to help out his family and friends. Passed away after a long and courageous battle with leukemia in 2022. Brian graduated from Shashi in 1984. He was working in the same HVAC company as Bob until his accidental death in 1989. Brian had a strong character, he left us far too soon, and was full of life. He was a hard worker who loved the beach, snowmobiling, fishing, working on his truck. He had a great laugh, was loved by all his family and friends. Tonight, Along with members of the Sullivan family, this scholarship is presented and established in their memory for students who have worked hard in their chosen field and displayed an extra effort to succeed even when success did not come easy. On behalf of the Sullivan family, I'm pleased to present these scholarships to Dominic Oliveira and Robert Dodge. <laughs> I also want to point out that Robert is a member of the family. The John Griswell Memorial Scholarship is awarded to Grace Bell. <laughs> We're now going to move into the Shokshi Academic Awards. The Outstanding Senior in English, Christian Bai. <laughs> the Outstanding Senior in Mathematics, Noah Carr. <laughs> The Outstanding Senior in Physical Education for Bordeaux. The 
also the United States Senior in Social Studies. And the outstanding senior in science, Jaden Donner. At this time, I'd like to turn the program over to our superintendent. Is that there? Can you hear me that way? Yes. Okay. Um, before we begin the Scholarship Foundation Awards, I just wanted to take a minute and recognize the efforts of some, uh, some influential individuals from the Foundation. Mr. James Gillis and Mr. Robert Peterson are both former longtime members of the Shawshank Valley Technical School District Committee. Mr. Gillis began serving on the committee in 1994 and spent 27 years supporting the staff and students at the school. Mr. Peterson began his service to the committee in 1994 as well. Well, I've never had the privilege of working with Mr. Gillis, his 27 years of experience and service clearly demonstrate his dedication and commitment to our school. I first met Mr. Peterson in January of 22 when he was leading the search committee to hire a new superintendent director. As Mr. Peterson and I walked out of the initial interview, I remember him complimenting me on my efforts during the interview and him sharing that it had been one of the interviews, one of the better interviews he'd been a part of. At that time, I was kind of questioning, and eh, is this what he says to everybody? Is this, you know, is he just trying to butter me up? Um, but I did leave the evening with a sense of accomplishment in a respect to the process. Um, I'm now inclined to believe his statement because it was less than six weeks later that I was offered the position as superintendent director. So uh, that was my initial introduction to Mr. Peterson. The last individual that I want to acknowledge, um, and his name has been mentioned a couple of times already this evening, is, is Mr. Charlie Lyons. Uh, students, you, you may recognize the name if you walk around the school. It's displayed in numerous locations. Mr. Lyons became the superintendent director of Shawshank Valley Technical School in 1987. Uh, just a little context, I was a freshman in high school in 1987, Charlie, so um, uh, just shows you how fast time flies. And he proudly served the district until his retirement in 2015. Uh, those of you that are, that are trying to run those numbers in your head, that means Charlie was the superintendent director at Shawshank Valley for 28 years, which is an incredible run um, for anybody in that, in that role and that position. Mr. Lyons spearheaded many efforts that still influence how Shawshank Valley Technical School is run today. Um, I worked in three other districts. I can tell you that the, the, the financial planning and the things that he put in place years ago have made a huge difference to what we're able to do for our students today. You may have noticed his name on the athletic complex, and he was also instrumental in the building of the life sciences wing that currently houses our medical and dental programs. Um, two of the first phone calls that I received when I accepted this position were from uh, Mr. Dave Ferrara and Mr. Jack Jones. Both of them are longtime friends of, of Charlie Lyons. Both of them gave me the same exact advice. Don't try to be Charlie Lyons. There was only one. And those of you that have ever met Charlie or, and had any kind of conversation or any interaction with him, know that that is the God's uh, gospel truth that there was only one. There will, there will only ever be one Charlie Lyons. Um, I do want to say Mr. Lyons has been a great mentor to me during my first year in this role. And I, I personally know four other superintendent directors and Charlie also mentors in a variety of different ways. Charlie's an expert on municipal finance and brings a lifetime of personal experience to our conversations. I can honestly say I've, I've learned more in, in casual conversations with Charlie than I've learned from any college course or workshop that I've attended uh, about school and municipal finance. So, so Charlie, you've been, you've been a great asset during my first year. Thank you for your friendship and your mentorship, um, and I, I hope that we can uh, continue that for many years to come. These three gentlemen have been instrumental in creating and sustaining the Shawshank Scholarship Foundation over the course of their public service careers. Their dedication to supporting Shawshank Valley Technical School has lasted more than 33 years, and they've awarded approximately $500,000 in scholarship to date. My heartfelt thanks to all of you for your efforts on behalf of the, all of the current and former students that you've helped over the years. And at this time, I would like to introduce the representatives of the scholarship committee to present these awards. Thank 
Thank you, Brian. Thank you for the kind words and uh, the minute they said after the interview, although to be honest, I have to thank Mr. O'Donnell who uh, submitted my vote when I was hundred percent certain he gave an impassioned speech here. I can't even see what that turns out he was right. Okay. I'm not gonna read all the awards, all of these Shawshin uh, scholarship foundation awards that will be complete by Jim Keating uh, as a direct result of the hard work of Mr. Lyons during his uh, tenure as superintendent. Uh, in the 28 years that he was the superintendent, his baby was his annual golf tournament, and that's what funds these scholarships every year. Uh, right before the, when the invitations went out for the golf tournament, Charlie would call and say, and can I put you down for one or two foursomes? <laughs> How many holes do you want to sponsor? Oh, by the way, what are you bringing for a prize? A raffle? Yeah, every year, every member of the Lions family went home with a trunk load of goods from the raffle. <laughs> but all of the awards here the the and Scholarship Foundation are a direct result uh, of child side work. I hope we get along with the boss. I'm not going to read the narrative for each uh, scholarship. They're in your booklet. Otherwise, we'd be here till midnight. Uh, but I would urge you to read the narrative. I would not only urge the parents to read the narrative, but I would urge the students to read the narratives because every scholarship uh, given away here this evening, not just the uh, Scholarship Foundation Award, but the Memorial Award, the, um, the Record Plan Award, all of those are awards are the result of the annual hard work of many, many people. And I would urge you to take the time when we go on to this moment. Uh, the first uh, award this evening is the Anthony Bazinotti Award for Vocational Technical uh, Excellence. The first recipient has a GPA of 3.96. She's a John and Abigail Adams Scholar, National Honor Society, Society member, a junior and senior year, Guild USA, State Silver Medals, Senior of the Month. Member of the soccer and basketball teams, captain of the basketball team, uh, employed through our cooperative education program at Boston Cryogenics, and she plans to attend Clarkson University and major in aerospace engineering. Lindsay McCall. Second recipient is the GPA of 3.87, also with John and Abigail Adams Scholar, National Honor Society, member of grades 11 and 12, Skills USA District Gold Medalist, employed through our cooperative education program at Lab Medical Manufacturing, and he plans to attend Western England University and major in industrial engineering, uh, Mr. Jonathan Ball. <laughs> Next awards are the Benjamin Walt Spirit of Shawshin Tech Awards. The first recipient is a GPA of 3.95, is a Presidential Scholarship Finalist, National Honor Society member, grades 11 and 12, Skills USA State Gold Medals, Skills USA National Silver Medalist, John and Abigail Adams Scholar, Senior of the Month, member and captain of the Fall and Winter Cheerleading Teams, employed through our cooperative education program at Care One Concord. Plans to attend UMass Boston and major in exercise and health science, Ms. Ellery. <laughs> Next recipient has a 3.84 GPA, recipient of the 2023 Outstanding Vocational Technical Student Award, John and Abigail Adams Scholarship recipient, member of the National Honor Society. Senior of the Month, Skills USA State Silver Medalist, member and captain of the swim team, employed through our cooperative education program at Manzanero, and plans to attend UMass Law for major in mechanical engineering, Anthony Bastianos. Next The next award is the James M. Gillis Award. It's for the student manager of one of Charge Dean Training Sports Teams. Uh, the first recipient has a GPA of 3.88, National Honor Society member, 
grades 11 and 12, manager of the volleyball and tennis teams, project explorer assistant, skilled USA participant, employed through our cooperative education program at Burlington Center for Dental Associates, plans to attend Indiana University Bloomington and major in human biology pre-med, uh, Ms. Sarah O'Dell. The next awards are the John Judge Awards for Academic Excellence. The first recipient has a 3.96 GPA, National Honor Society member, grades 11 and 12, uh, Skills USA State Silver Medalist, member and captain of the Fall and Winter Cheerleading Teams, Class of 2023 Secretary, employed through our Cooperative Education Program by Bellwether, Book Bellwether Bookkeeping, plans to attend Bentley University and major in Business Management, Rihanna Delay. Next recipient is 3.89 GPA, National Honor Society member, uh, grades 11 and 12, John and Abigail Adams Spala, member of the Varsity Lacrosse team, mm -hmm. employed through our cooperative education program by Bedford Mechanical, plans to attend UMass Lowell and major in mechanical engineering. To Joseph Stoll. The next award are the Richard Lavoy Co op Awards. Now, with us this evening is Mr. Richard Lavoy, who headed up the co op program for many, many years at, uh, at Chargine. The first recipient. Uh, is in health assisting. She has a GPA of 3.65. She's a John and Abigail Adams scholar. She's a member and captain of the Fall and Winter Cheerleading teams. Participated in our cooperative education program as a junior and a senior. She has an impeccable work ethic. She's employed by Kia One in Wilmington. She plans on attending Pittsburgh State University and major in nursing. And I'm Jenna Park. <laughs> Next recipient is from the Electrical Trust has a GPA of 3.66, also a John and Abigail Adams Scholar, Senior of the Month, Student Council Member, School Council Representative, participated in our Cooperative Education Program as a Junior and Senior. He also has an impeccable work ethic, He's employed by DEI Systems, he plans on working in the electrical field full-time after graduation, Mr. Michael Parent. Next award is the Robert G. Peterson Award uh, given to the uh, student representative to the Shawnee Tech School Committee. Uh, this individual has a GPA of 3.63. She's John and Abigail Adams Scholar, member and president of the Gender Sexuality Alliance, student representative to the school committee, employed through our cooperative education program by Aroma Joes. Plans on attending Westfield State University and majoring in secondary education, Eli Holder. Next awards are the Ron Alkowski uh, Student Athlete Awards. The first recipient has a GPA of 3.86, member of the National Honor Society, the John and Abigail Adams Scholar, Senior Class President. Senior of the Year, Anti-Bullying Club President, Orientation Leader and Captain, member of the soccer, basketball, and lacrosse teams, captain of the soccer and basketball teams, employed to our cooperative education program by Brightview Concord, plans to attend Worcester State University major in secondary education, Harry Brown. <laughs> Next student has a GPA of 3.75, Senior of the Month, Orientation Leader, Free Sport Athlete, member of the football, basketball, and baseball teams, captain of the football, basketball, and baseball teams, employed through our cooperative education program by Bruno Brothers, plans to attend St. Anselm's College and major in criminal justice, Maverick Boudreaux. <laughs> Thank you.
Next award is the Charles Lyons Leadership Award. The student has a 3.89 GPA, National Honor Society a member, grades 11 and 12, member of the Superintendent's Cabinet, president of the Team Dating and Violence Awareness Club, Project Explorer Assistant, member of the Volleyball, Basketball, and Lacrosse teams, captain of the Volleyball and Basketball teams, employed through our cooperative education program by DEI Systems, Plans to attend Fitchburg State University and major in education. Kindly look that. Again, I'd like to thank uh, Superintendent Mayor Matosh for the kind words. Uh, Principal Cook and all of members of the guidance staff for the reference here this evening. This is a lot of hard work. I hope everybody appreciates what uh, is done to get ready to see. Thank you very much. So, the final portion of this evening, I uh, dropped. Our salutatorian, Jane Dodper, and our valedictorian, Jaden, we'd like to congratulate you on being the salutatorian for the class of 2023 and earning the salutatorian award. Jaden has a 3.97 GPA, a member of the National Honor Society, John and Abigail Adams Scholar. He's been employed through our co-op education program by Catsorley Consulting and plans to attend UMass Lowell and major in computer engineering. Please join me in congratulating Jaden. Noah, similar to Jaden, is also in our ISSN in programming and web shop. Noah has a 3.98 GPA. The John and Abigail Adams Scholar plans to attend UMass Lowell and major in computer science. Please join me in congratulating Noah for earning the valedictorian award. <laughs> If it wasn't great enough that you each guys give a speech at gradua graduation, you have now received new furniture. This is yours to take home. And I think if you need help taking it apart, then you might need an expert on how to set up the memorizing. Um, I know that these chairs are tricky. So congratulations to both of you. <laughs> And at this time, that brings tonight's program to an end. I'd like to again thank all of the students for the incredible work you have done over the past four years. Such a pleasure to honor you this evening. To the families, thank you for trusting us with your students these past four years. And to the students who earned the Mark Dunman Memorial Scholarship, uh, caught off the press, I received a request to have you go to the back of the hall to take a photo with the family. But aside from that, thank you so much, everyone. We'll see you at graduation on Thursday. Have a wonderful day.